Okay, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing some casting with some uh, dyed plywood. Uh, Walter sent me a whole bag of it, and uh, for the purpose of just playing with casting resins around it. Um, and so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, some clear, some colored dyed stuff. Um, might even use some polyester resin. I hate that stuff, but I might try it out because it is cheaper to uh, test with it. But uh, we're going to see what we can get out of these kind of crazy colored uh, plywood chunks and uh, see if they can make some good uh, blanks. All right, we got the first two done. So uh, alumilite clear and uh, polyester resin with some smoke dye and some pearl essence in it. So I'm gonna let these sit overnight. We'll see what we get tomorrow. And uh, there'll be more testing with these uh, plywood, the dyed plywood uh, gun stock cutoffs from Walter tomorrow. So more stuff in a, in a second for you. So hold on tight. All right, well, after the first day of casting, uh, I have one blank that's done. Uh, not surprisingly, the polyester resin didn't cure for me, so uh, I'm notoriously terrible at using polyester resin. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. It almost reminds me of uh, Picasso artwork or something <laughs> with random shapes and stuff. So um, <clears throat> the blanks look kind of cool. I'm, uh, I'm actually kind of interested to see how these work out. They're not exactly how I planned or how I... I kind of expected, I guess, but uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, and so. I got to get these things uh, turned on the lathe and see what kind of, uh, you know, you look at these things as squares, and I'm not super impressed yet. But what I what I always find is once you put a tube in here, <clears throat> excuse me, once you put a tube in the, these things and turn it round, then it turns into something cool. So I don't know. Like I said, not wowed yet, but. Um, Interesting, let's just say. All right, so I turned up, well, cast, and then turned up a couple samples of this stuff. So I got light blue with the, the plywood. Um, that actually looks really cool, this light blue color with these. Uh, it's like a red and I don't know, gray and then a purple and gray. That color combination really turned out cool. Um, this one's clear. Now, I had issues. I couldn't get the paint on the inside of the tube to lay down like flat. It just, so it's blotchy, and it, it really doesn't look that good. Um, but I think this could be a really cool um, effect otherwise. Uh, now this is like a sherbet orange looking kind of orange sherbet color and then this is red. And I ended up just turning a pen. I made one blank of each but it happened that this kind of pink color was in each half. And so I just it kind of matched up and this stuff's all crazy anyway. So uh, I did make a pen out of it. Uh, it it's interesting. What it reminds me of, like a modern art or a Picasso painting or abstract art or something like that. Frank Lloyd Wright even kind of comes to mind his architecture um, with these combinations of things. So I would definitely recommend this. I, I don't think I've ever really seen this uh, multicolored plywood mixed with resin before, especially like colored resin or anything. It really turns out good. So uh, thanks again to Walter for sending this stuff. Um, I will definitely send you some blanks up and I got more testing to do. I just I kind of wanted to get the video out because I got results and it it looks awesome. It's really cool stuff. So that's all that I needed and I just wanted to share that quicker. Um, but I'm going to make some more pen blanks out of this stuff. I'm probably going to sell some of these. So if you're interested in trying out this mi uh, mixture, um, I'll have it on my Etsy shop and you can just like email me and I can do PayPal or whatever, but I'll have these up somewhere so you can order them if you'd like. I do also want to say I've been watching my subscribers and I'm almost to a thousand subscribers as of today. So that blows my mind, first of all. So thank you to everybody that subscribed. Um, I it's It's just been awesome. I've met so many people and, you know, gotten a lot of questions and, and interaction. I love getting comments. Um, send me emails if you have questions or anything. 
All right, so coming up next uh, is gonna be the Captain Crunch video. Um, I cast some Captain Crunch cereal, and uh, I got a blank chucked up on the lathe, so I'm gonna turn that tomorrow probably. So I'll get video of that and tell you what, what happens, if anything. I didn't stabilize it, but more to come in the next video. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, email me at zach at nvwoodworks.com. Um, I answer all my comments, questions, anything, so uh, if you want to get a hold of me, I'll definitely get back to you.